Hi. We're going to talk about commissioning a CAQ unit before you request a commissioning. So once your house is completed and you're ready to request a commissioning, what I would like you to do is do an initial commissioning on the system itself without adjusting motor speeds and all your diffusers throughout the house. We just want to get the unit up and running and know that everything is proper. So, because this unit has already been running, it's not going to have the same screen that you're going to see. The screen that you see when you plug this in, it's going to ask you for language, I believe is the first question. Choose, I chose lang uh, English. And the next question is date and time, and you're going to enter the date and time and confirm that. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to continue commissioning? At that point, you hit confirm. And on this unit here, because it was already running, it's not asking us those questions. But once you confirm that question, it's going to ask you for a code. And the code that you're going to punch in is 4210, 4210. And once you do, then it's going to go through the list of questions for the commissioning. And again, my screen is a little bit different and it's gonna ask you to start the commissioning, you will hit confirm to start the commissioning. At this point, it's gonna ask you if it's a right or a left hand unit. So on this unit here, we are pretending that we have our manifolds on the left hand side that go to the house. It's, it's gonna be your supply and return diffusers. And on the right hand side, it's gonna be the pipes that go to the outside, your intake and extract air. So. In a situation like this, in all of the situations, whatever the side, the piping that goes to the house, it is that side of a unit. unit. So this would be a left-hand unit. If this were on the right and these pipes were on the left-hand side going to the outside, then it would be a right-hand unit. So <clears throat> we're gonna confirm on this that it is a left-hand unit I believe all the units are coming stock as a right hand, so you'll just change that using the up and down arrow to a left. Then it's gonna ask about the condensate drain. The condensate drain is always going on the same side as the outside air. If, if you have an HRV, if you have an ERV, you can just cap both of the plugs. You will have two caps that come with the unit. Those will go into the bottom. Uh, it's gonna ask us, condensate drain, connection of the condensate, con connection of the condensate drain, none left or right. And because this is an ERV, we're gonna confirm that is none. Uh, are you sure that the condensate drain is not required? Confirm. Then it's gonna ask us which flow meters to use. We're going to use, we're just going to pick the very first one meters confirm. It's going to ask us our altitude. So depending on your location, you will enter your, your altitude Hit confirm. Is there a fireplace present? If there is a fireplace present, say yes, because we want you, we, we want the unit to know that there is a fireplace so that it will never, the unit will never go into a negative disbalance and draw gases back into the house. In this situation, no, there is not a fireplace. So now, the unit is gonna ask you, are all open, are all supply and extract valves completely open? So if they're not, go ahead and open them. Yes, they are, confirm. Are all valves completely open? Yes. It's going to ask you a second time. Confirm. So now the unit is going to determine max flow. So it's going to take off like a jet and it's going to determine the max flow that it can get based on the installation. And this is going to take a few minutes, so just enjoy the ride. Okay, so now the unit has determined its max flow. 
if it's a CAQ 350, the max flow should be coming 350. If it's a 450, it should be coming back at 450. If it's a Q600, it should be coming back at 600. This unit is coming back at 600. If that flow is different, that means that there possibly were some shortcuts taken in installation. If your max flows are compromised, it may mean that on the final commissioning, you may not be able to reach all your numbers, but most likely will be able to. So we're going to confirm <coughs> max flow preset three, measured max flow is 600. That's perfect, confirm. Keep all valves completely open until instructed to fine tune the valves. We're gonna confirm. Uh, medium airflow preset two is 400 meters. The unit itself, there are algorithms built into the board and it will pick its own preset rates for away, low, medium, and high. <coughs> Excuse me. And just on the initial commissioning, let the unit pick those numbers so that we can just commission the unit and get it running. All that fine tuning will be done during commissioning by a Zender representative. But until then, to get the unit up and running, just let the unit pick the rates and we can confirm them. So on preset two, uh, on the 600, it's picking 400. On preset three is 540. Again, it's in meters. Preset one is 280. And the away mode is 120. I'm just confirming all of those. It's gonna ask commissioning airflow in which speed. We're gonna pick speed two because that's the, uh, that's the speed the unit runs on 24 seven, confirm. Now it says to go ahead and fine tune all the supply and extract valves. I'm just gonna confirm this as if I've done it already. And then it's gonna question me, are we sure that they're all fine tuned? Yes, confirm. Now the unit is gonna go into another set of algorithm tests of itself, and it's gonna run through all four speeds to make sure that it can, it can reach all of those air flows in all four speeds. And I've yet to have a problem with these not being able to do that. And um, so now we're gonna have a little bit of a wait again. Okay, so now the commissioning, uh, now the, excuse me, now the CAQ unit has ran through all its processing of testing flows in all four speeds. And it says, into the installation wizard, successfully completed the commissioning wizard. So when you hit confirm on this, it's gonna go back to running at medium speed. And then at that point, you know that there are no errors and there are no problems and you can request a commissioning. And, um, and we're good.